Looking through the runners for the Ascot Stakes. Bowie with Safi Osborne claiming the three and 18 make my day. Reese Clutterbuck claiming the three, riding for trainer Gary Moore and owner Stephen Packham. Last two, Just Hubert, Nicola Curry, can be a little cantankerous in the preliminaries. That R against his name has refused to race once. William Muir and Chris Grassick. And 20 is Moon King, another, a long absence on the flat, but has been running over jumps. Charlie Longston, another jumps trainer to round things off, teaming up with Liam Canary. Without number nine, who dares wins? 19 for the Ascot Stakes. Yes, William Ollinson won this race four times. Three of them have been steered by Ryan Moore, and they've got bring on the night. Five to two was nine to two this morning. Arcadian Sunrise, nine to two from eight and nine to one frame by John Queeley. Pied Piper, Jamie Spencer could have ridden Arcadian Sunrise, but he stuck with uh, Gordon Elliott's horse. Pied Piper, 13 to two. Nine to one, Marshall Planter, Frankie the Tory. Ten to one, Surrey Gold. That was his biggest, 20 to one. And it's 14 to one bar, including Cult Train for Andrew Balding. But we We'll have Bring on the Night, but before Bring on the Night, it might be Arcadian Sunrise, Luke. We really do need some experts on ITV racing. Luckily, I've bumped into Tom. Now, Tom, come on, what have you got written down here? Are these...? Uh, my picks. Your, all your picks. Now, you're just... Where you go? You go to school very close. Where do you go to school? Uh, St Francis. And, and you run down here after school to come and watch racing because you love it so much, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> and just point to us where you live. He's down there. That is, that is where him, his mum and dad and he was brought up. He's right down there by the Golden Gates. What do you like about racing? Uh, they go fast? And the jockeys. Which is your favourite jockey? Come on. Ryan Moore. Right, you, Tom, it was Frankie Notorio. He hates you now, Frankie. Ryan Moore's the man. Good luck, Tom. Good luck with your selections. <laughs> <laughs> How sweet is that? Well done, Tom. I'm trying to see his selection in race five. He's got, it looks like he's gone for 16 and 12. Scaramanga to beat Golden Flame. Brilliant. And I'm sure lots of people coming back from days out and days at school will recap what's been an extraordinary day. Baid waltzed home. Holly Doyle won the Coventry. Australia uh, with the most brilliant performance, winning uh, the King Stand, and then Caribas won a very dramatic St James's Park. And now we have something completely different over two and a half miles with Bring on the Night at five to two, Arcadian Sunrise at nine to two, Pied Piper at 13 to two, all about the Irish here. Ruby Walsh is here representing the Mullins team. Ruby joins our team tomorrow to do his analysis. Davy Russell here uh, representing Gordon Elliott and Pied Piper. Who do you like, Hayley Turner? I've got my eye on a couple, uh, the first being Coltrane of Andrew Boldins, um, who was second at Chester last time out. He's gone up £3 for that, but he's taken £5 off with the Callum, this £5 claimer, who's doing really well this year. Um, he's, his best form is on the grass. And Rashoon, who um, won it last year off the same mark, um, Richard Kingscote and Ian Williams have, have won this race together before. And that was out of stall 18, it's in 19 today, so it's not a negative being stuck out there. I love how you're staying loyal to the flat yards. Yes. We've only won this four times this century. It's the Jumps boys who've dominated. Where are you going, Jason? Yeah, with another flat yard, I'm afraid, uh, Rock Eagle. And um, the damn Highland shot, a half-sister to the very good stayer, you'll remember, Grey Shot, who would love a, an extreme test like this. And so I think this is absolute key for him. Two and a half miles, quick ground, Rob Hornby in great form as well. Do you want to hear an interesting stat. Go ahead. No horses out of ten have been four years old to win this race. So you can write up all the four-year-olds in it. What a fascinating stat. Yep. It's a bit like well, Johnny it's... with the stallions in the King's stand. <laughs> it's such <laughs> a messy race. They're all, they're all geldings. We couldn't find them. <laughs> Three to one now bring on the night for Willie Mullins. Yeah. Who is... How old, Hayley? Bring on the night. Does he fall into that category? He's a five-year-old. Might still win. Yeah. Richard. And a few of these haven't seen the set of starting stalls for a while, but they're all behaving pretty well as Tribal Art moves forward for Andrea Adzini and the Max We Can. Just Hubert is stall 20, so closest to us. He is the one that sometimes has uh, played up a little bit. Hopefully he'll be on his best behaviour. Nicola Curry poised on the outside to whip that lined off. They're all in. 
two and a half miles. Just Huber first out of the stalls, flies out on the outside, jumps really well as they race through the first furlong. Scaramanga towards the inside is holding his position with Surrey Gold. Prashima crosses behind the field as they settle down in the early stages. So Surrey Gold and also moving forward the blue cap of Golden Flame. And it's Golden Flame who has the early lead. Stable companion tribal art and martial plan in the blue with just Hubert out wider. Surrey Golden Scaramanga just tracked the leaders early on. Bring on the night is just behind the speed in company with Rock Eagle in the purple and blue. Coltrane in the hoops with the noseband, white and red. On the inside is Make My Day, as up on the outside, Protected Guest is the horse that's making ground in white and blue. The Max We Can from Proshima, Rashoon last year's winner, is well back on the outside of Pied Piper. Arcadian Sunrise, who was the market mover during the course of the last few days, was just rousted along for a few strides. He's last of all in the pink colours with the noseband, uh, racing on the outside this stage of Lidford. So getting now into their formation as they make their way up the straight, there's still a long way to go. Just Hubert in the yellow colours has the lead from Golden Flame with Marshall Plan in blue racing in third. Scaramanga is fourth with Protected Guest racing in fifth place just ahead of Tribal Art. He didn't do Surrey Gold any great favours there. He was a little short of room. Coltrane races in about a seventh place at this stage with Rock Eagle towards the outside in eighth. The max we can on the outside of Make My Day. Bring on the night midfield in the check colours of yellow and black just ahead of Moon King Pied Piper on the rails in red and white. Proshima Rashoon in the grey jacket on the outside of Going Gone. And Arcadian Sunrise and Just Hubert has found a new trick. His trick is to run off on the bend, and having consented to race and gone forward, he feels that after half a mile he's done enough. And Just Hubert is heading for Car Park 1 at the moment, and he might find a picnic, but I don't think he'll find the winning post in front, as out in the lead it is Golden Flame. Golden Flame then handed the lead by Just Hubert, who has got back in touch with the field, but has gone from first to last in the space of a couple of furlongs. So Golden Flame with Marshall Plan in the blue colours and up on the outside, Protected Guest. Scaramanga racing in fourth place in the check colours as they begin to run downhill. Rock Eagle comes next with Surrey Gold, uh, then Bring On The Knight, who's racing about seventh or eighth for Ryan Moore on the inside of Make My Day, trained by Ryan's dad, and then the Max We Can with Proshima, Pied Piper, a little bit of a shuffle up as they just cross the rise there with Going Gone, and still towards the back is Lidford as they make their way downhill. So we're now entering the final mile of the contest, and out in the lead, Golden Flame still shows the way. Well-bunched field with Marshall Plan, Protected Guest, and Scaramanga filling second, third, and fourth. Rock Eagle, caught on heels there, gave Surrey Gold a bump. Surrey Gold hasn't had a lot of luck, actually, in this race so far. Coltrane's up the running rails with Bring On The Night and The Max We Can as the pace just steadies at the foot of the hill. Make My Day, Pied Piper, Proshima comes next from Moon King, going gone on the rails. Arcadian Sunrise has now got past round about three of them. They include Rashoon Lidford and Just Hubert, who's back in touch with the field, but surely has compromised his chances. A nearly 15-second furlong there, as out in front, the wily Joe Fanning now just begins to extend on, has the lead from Go Golden Flame from Marshall Plan, Scaramanga and Protected Guest. Coltrane still lobbing along with Tribal Art, they've never been too far away, likewise Rock Eagle. Ryan Moore just beginning to try to angle off the rails, bring on the night in the check colours for the first time, leaves the fence on the outside of Coltrane. Surrey Gold furiously ridden amongst horses, Proshima's creeping closer, so's the max we can, there's going to be needing luck for a few, Pied Piper, Arcadian Sunrise trying to circle the field now, as they continue their progress, the worst of the climb behind Behind them and begin to swing for home in the Ascot Stakes. Out in the lead, Golden Flame, protected guest in second place. Then Rock Eagle round the outside, Scaramanga Tribal Art. Marshall Plans dropping back very quickly, causing traffic problems for a few. Coltrane then bring on the night as they make the corner. The max we can, Tribal Art travelling strongly just behind the leaders as they straighten. And now out in front, heading for home, it's still Golden Flame. Try to hold off Rock Eagle, Tribal Art, Coltrane switches out. The max we can, bring on the night. No luck for Pie Piper, who's had to change course markedly. Arcadian Sunrise right round the outside trying to stay on it's Coltrane who's hit the front. Bring on the night for Willie Mullins. Arcadian Sunrise and going gone down the outside. Inside the last it's Coltrane bearing down the leader. Bring on the night. Arcadian Sunrise still stays on with going on. A real battle on the inside. Coltrane bring on the night. Coltrane is finding more. And Coltrane for Callum Hutchinson. A famous success for him and Andrew Balding. Saw off bring on the night. Arcadian Sunrise going gone. Pipe Pipe who got very little up pursued made late ground to eventually finish in round about sixth place ahead of Lidford another to stay on through beaten horses. Fair play to Coltrane because 
scouting time has bring on the night and Callum Hutchinson, the son of Wayne Hutchinson, who's ridden plenty of winners round here over jumps, had time to salute the crowd as he rides his first Royal Ascot winner in the Ascot Stakes for Andrew Balding. Coltrane beating, bring on the night. Arcadian Sunrise just ages to warm up. I think it's going gone who's fourth. Rashoon and Pied Piper, when you watch it back, I think Pied Piper was the unlucky one. He, everything fell in his lap a furlong and a half to go. Coltrane, Mick and Janice Mariscotti, they tasted success at their local Epsom. Today it's Callum Hutchinson, Day on the Sun, on Coltrane. And he was a brave second in the Chester Cup. And on the straight here, Haley, it turns into this two-way go. Now he gets the gap, Coltrane. But here comes the Mullins horse in the Donnelly colours. And this is quite a battle. It is. And um, Callum's done a really good job just to keep him going. You know, he's not gone overboard with his whip. He's, he's changed his hands. He's grabbed him together. And he's got another run out of him. I, I think the horse challenging him has just, you know, got him to put his head down and, and actually wouldn't, wouldn't going away in the end. And it's so nice to see that is his first winner. He works really hard at Andrews, um, you know, he's super with his, his apprentices and he's another up-and-coming star. And his dad, Wayne, who wrote so many winners for Alan King, a good lad. Imagine a big football fan like his dad. Huge moment for him because the big gun on his right for Mullins, who's dominated. Then Arcadian Sunrise in the, in the red cap on the far right. Pied Piper's been a bit unlucky, as Richard said. A huge and emotional moment for the young man, Jason. Yeah, he's, he's in that batch of young riders that the Balding Academy seem to have every year. And, you know, he's he's kept his nose down. He's worked incredibly hard. He's obviously got some really, really good mechanics, the way that he holds himself on horseback. And this was not easy because on the way round, he just was on and off the bridle and he had to, to be really, really patient. Well, just very quickly, Coltrane's having a drink of water, and while he does and gets a, a little dampening down to help cool him off, uh, a man who is enjoying one of the moments of his young career. Uh, just tell me, as we get splashed with water, Callum, what you're feeling at the moment. Uh, words can't describe. This horse is an absolute dream to ride. Ryan looks after him, and he's his favourite horse as well. He's done a nice job with him at home, but uh, he's given me the sweetest of rides. And can't thank the boss and the Marish boys for any, anything else. What was it like when you hit the line? We saw your reaction, the pump of the fist, how much it meant to you. Oh, it's just... I can't even get the words out of my mouth. Like, it's just absolutely thrilling. Like, for the boss to give me all the confidence to ride this horse and the Marish Scotties as well. Like, I can't thank them all enough. And for someone who's grown up in the sport with your dad and all the, the ambitions that you would have, to earn a first Royal Ascot winner how much did you think of this moment? How much did you envisage what it would be like? No, with Dad riding over jumps, he started on from the flat, and the dream has always been a Royal Ascot winner, and I'm so happy, like, my mother and Nana are over there, and I'm glad they can make it. It is a wonderful... Just a brief word about the ride. A wonderful moment, but what about the ride you've given this horse? You must be proud of the way you executed those skills today. Yeah, the, the boss just sort of just told us to sort of mid-div and rode him just comfortably and confidently. And you know, the horse gave me a great toe into the race. Struggled to find a gap too, but he really has picked up and he's hit the line strong. Do you want to have another go at telling me how it feels if you can't get the words out? Extraordinary. <laughs> well done, Callum. Well done, mate. Extraordinary in a moment that young man will remember for a very, very long time. Likewise, Ryan Gradwell leading up the winner. The flat boys have won the Ascot Stakes for only the fifth time this century. Coltrane won at 14 to 1. Bring on the night. The favourite was second. Then came Arcadian Sunrise at 9 to 2. Going gone, we haven't mentioned yet, running really well in fourth at 50 to 1. Rashoon, who won the race last year, finished in fifth if you had top five at 16 to 1. I think Pied Piper might have finished sixth if you had top six with your bookmaker. Good shout, Haley, and the Baldings are on the board. They had a brilliant meeting last year. They're at it again. And the Mariscottis, who we saw at Epsom last week, being very well ridden in these, those colours. Local Epsom uh, family who will love having a winner on this stage, won't they? For sure, yeah. It's nice that, the, you know, all the, um, the effort they have with the racing and what they put in, they get back on days like this. It's so nice to see, isn't it, the, 
Calvin's got all his family here. He's just getting clapped in now. But very, very rewarding for Andrew as well, because he's, like Jason said, it's a racing academy, but um, Andrew and Annalisa put so much work into the, you know, they get them doing gym work, they get them getting coaching, you know, they look after their accommodation, their, their kit, you know, it's a, it's a real, it's a real amazing system that they've got going on there. And for Callum, it's now seven wins from just 18 rides for Andrew Balding, and he knows how to celebrate as well as young Callum. This, this was fantastic. Punch of the air. A winner at the Royal Meeting, the biggest stage of the lot. Coltrane won at 14 to 1. And what price now, Cleveland, in our last race today, who beat Coltrane, you remember, in the Chester Cup. There's that celebration.